In this lesson, we're going to take a look at a great new feature in AutoCAD 2010, and that's the ability to attach PDF files into AutoCAD as an underlayment. Okay, in a previous lesson, we showed you how to create a PDF file um, with some of the new options of AutoCAD, uh, mainly the ability to create layers, and we're going to look at how that comes in handy here. Okay, so what you need to do is you can come over here to the Insert tab and look on your ribbon and we see right here that we can do an attach and here we are here we have our PDF file that we created earlier so I'm gonna select it the same way that I would attach a drawing that I would want to x-reference or an image that I want to bring in So I'm gonna tell it to open and we get this dialog box for the attached PDF underlay and we can see that we have a few options first of all scale I'm gonna go ahead and specify the scale I know that the drawing I created was at quarter inch equals a foot, and so that scale is 48 is a scale factor. Uh, specify on screen for the insertion point. I'm, I'm going to uncheck that and let it just go at 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to let it go at rotation of 0 degrees also. So when I tell it OK, my drawing comes up. We can zoom in and we can see that it, it's the PDF file. Everything looks great. Now I've, I've inserted this into the um, into model space and if I was bringing it into a layout tab well then I wouldn't have to give it the scale of 48. I could have brought it in at 1 to 1 because that's how it was created. Alright so that's how we get our PDF file in here kinda of like an X reference. Now the cool thing about it is is that first of all you can O snap to it. So if I have line, a line command and I want to O snap to this endpoint of this wall, I can find the endpoint of that wall. So that's kind of cool. And if I select my image, come out here on the frame and select the image, I can see that I change modes here. New to AutoCAD 2010 is the way that it switches the ribbon based upon what you've selected. And I can clip the image if I would like. I can uh, tell it to show the underlayment or not, which is basically uh, whether or not it just shows the frame or if it shows the actual objects. I can enable snap to where I can snap to the objects in the PDF and one of the options is is that I can edit the layers so if I cl click that I get this layer box and I can come in here and let's just say that I want to get rid of first of all maybe the border so I'm gonna just turn off the border and maybe I also want to get rid of the hatched walls and get rid of the gray inside the walls and finally maybe I want to just turn off the dimensions so I can turn those off as well. And now I have a pretty clean drawing that I can integrate in with my other drawings. This could be maybe be a detail or again just like an x-reference, a reference file that I have in amongst my other CAD work. I believe that the new feature of being able to import in PDF files is going to save us a lot of time and it's a great feature to learn.